evening and welcome to it. This is yet another episode of Chess and Wine and my name is ADP. Like coming at you with some updates on the elections, the Chess South Africa elections, which have just concluded today that has happened. Conclusions. Conclusions have been reached. Elections have happened. We have not nullified the process of South Africa. We are super proud of you, Chess South Africa, for Ch the community of Chess South Africa and the delegates. Obviously, the delegates were sent in by the regions and the provinces, and we are proud of you for saying vote, vote, vote. And obviously, we have voted. <laughs> we are thankful that we are out of AKB to you brought us out. And hey, seriously, to the leaders that, leaders that we elected and everybody else that was fighting with them throughout this process, like for years, trying to get a transparently run Chess South Africa in place, trying to get a structure that can work with the people and be for the people. Or at least remove the one that is not, that we know is not, that we know is not willing to work with us, with everybody involved and include and all of that. But wow, goodness, it's finally happened. We are out of the, yeah, <laughs> we've used the lifeline that Fida threw us. Fida and Sasko, we're proud of it. So yes, so the elections were taking place today at Gauteng, Johannesburg at the Sasko building. And everybody that's been elected is as follows not everyone you saw it was so funny okay no it wasn't funny it was very sad when we saw and obviously it, it, it felt like guarantees were other to others when we saw that uh for vice president two uh mr luzuk and denisa from the eastern cape had been removed because of objections obviously coming from whether his province or from other or uh, other places or another other candidates because it turned out that his province did not nominate him for the position that was he was uh and now uh, a candidate for and that left Mr. Vicky Magu from Gauteng as the only candidate. And we thought, ah, it means that he's just going to go through. But that's not the case. Remember, all candidates needed to reach the, what, 50% out of all the votes that were available. So remember, out of the nine provinces, each, 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 um, each province sends two members, sends two delegates. So that's two votes per province. Plus Playcom. That is 10 in total. That is 10 times 2 is 20. But remember that the Free State did not send any delegates, which means the, the Free State, a province in the Free State, the, I want to say Orange Free State again, snap. So yeah, the Free State province decided that they were going to, what, um, give up their voting right. So that means now there are only 18 votes up for grabs. So that's 8 provinces plus Lacom. That's 9, right? Nine times two is 18. So now <laughs> all you needed to get out of the 18 in order to get elected was uh, nine votes, right? So yeah, as it turned out, Mr. Vicky Magu got only eight votes for the vice for the position of vice president too. And he unfortunately was not elected. Said, ish. No, it's because I remember in one of the comments, somebody uh, commented and said, Hey, it would be a travesty in Chess South Africa if Vicky was to get any further position of power. And the words of this beautiful woman, of this uh, beautiful soul, uh, seem to have rever reverberated with everybody in every poor province. And they felt like, hey, we don't want to be a part of giving this man more power. And I'm sweating because it's about 36 degrees hot this side. Yo, and it's going to keep sweating. But anyway, so yeah, no, I'm, only, I'm only here to announce and let you know that we have a newly elected structure with the president with the full 18 votes which means everybody is in for him like come on it's like it's <laughs> no question so yeah mr andrew lewox wins the like the, the, the presidency candidate with 18 votes and is followed by mr alindo gutlen gubane who's vice president one and uh, we don't have vice president two so maybe after the first election they're gonna need to co-opt or maybe after the first general special general meeting they'll need to elect I don't know, but that is now vacant. And now treasurer, Mr. Carol Lefieri from the Northwest is our treasurer, elected, newly elected treasurer, Mr. Carol Lefieri from the Northwest. And the general secretary, not by anonymous, I'm not by unanimous uh, uh, decision. I'm wondering who did not vote for it because it's 15 out of the 18 votes. So there's some people that didn't vote for. Uh, and I remember that there were some people that were concerned that she doesn't have, doesn't have any experience in chess. Uh, or doesn't know how to play chess, which is, but administratively, everybody is convinced that this woman will handle things perfectly, and we're super proud and happy to have her as our general secretary, disseminating information and keeping us involved and knowing and and up updated with everything that's happening within Chess South Africa. And um, that is uh, Mrs. Liesel Ajum from uh, the Northern Cape. 
and um well we have uh what else what else what else what other position did i not mention so we've got the what's what, what do we have um provincial representative one which is uh mrs jeanette miss jeanette mabitsela from lipopo and she obviously won by votes as well she was voted in and um uh, provincial representative two from uh guasulu natal it is uh no Luandle Kumalo, is it No Luandle? Yes, No Luandle Kumalo from the KZN. Congratulations. And the third provincial representative three, that is Mrs. Nicole Peter from the Eastern Cape. <laughs> so that is our executive committee. I'm wondering if by the time this finishes, we'll be able to have a picture of all of them together. But hey, pictures are scarce. I don't know why people are so stingy with the pictures because we're not there with them. But anyway, Congratulations to our new, to our newly exec executive committee, executive board of Chess South Africa. We know that you're only going to be in full power after the 17th of December when um, uh, FIDE finally deals with the challenge that we've been dealing with for a very long time. You know that challenge that has been, yeah. So, yeah, and I'm sure that it, once the Sasko came, case comes on later on, which has been postponed against the challenge, it's probably going to be better now that we have we had an election and we have elected these leaders. So now I'm sweating and I'm thinking of people or the media saying about Trump, even though they knew that the temperature at the place with Trump was, was very high. And they said, I'm oh, sweating. Maybe he's not one. Maybe he's not healthy. What's wrong with him? Hey, what's wrong with me? I'm sweating. Hey, what's wrong with you if you're not sweating? You're supposed to be sweating when it's hot, especially when you're not in there, when you're in a place without any air conditioning. But anyways, <laughs> with so many lights and uh, around me. But anyway, so yeah, it is what it is. And we're happy that we have a new leadership. We're not going to just sit and watch you do as you like. We're going to criticize. We're going to scrutinize. We're going to speak about you. We're not going to be your friends, but we're going to want to work with you. We're going to want to help what we can. Everybody is on board for the next two years working together to make chess south africa even better than it was and thank you everybody that's been a part of this whole process the play calm oh play calm nationally yes the, they, they just they just made us realize how things actually need to happen so anzal for leading that and john's mabusela the two play calm representatives i mean the, you have just done things in a way that we like every province should be should have been doing them like the involvement of players all over the country it was just massive and obviously having organized that um interview with all the what the the, the 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 candidates it was also something special so it was just a beautiful yeah beautiful work uh congratulations to yeah playcom that soon to be structure official see yeah so there's a whole lot a lot of work cut out for this executive committee soon they'll, they'll be starting commissions and will be criticizing how they uh elect appoint or deploy <laughs> for those positions so be careful we're watching are they bringing in the people that they could not bring into the executive and saying hey since we could not bring you in in this uh, position how about we give you a, a commission of your own uh, uh, comrade yay we're watching we don't be doing things like that yes yeah choose by competence not by association yay criticisms have already started but we're proud of you our right, ladies let's work together Boop. To a beautiful chess of Africa. Hey, next year is an Olympiad year. Olympics year. Chess? Wait, is it Olympiad or Olympics? But anyway, it's Olympiad. Yeah? Wait. Anyways, my mind is not here. You see now, my mind is getting fried. We'll talk about everything else in the next video. And yes, we're also going to be talking about Jan Kasten because we're super proud of Jan Kasten and the World Youth. Um, the World Youth? Is it the World Youth or World of Junior Olympiads? Who oh, he's performed so beautifully coming out eighth place. Jan Kasten from International Master Jan Kasten from the Western Cape. Super proud of that little superstar. Man, he's going to come back with a 23-24 rating now probably. Hey, this guy, this boy is, is, is raising a higher and higher. By the end of the 2024, he's probably going to be a grandmaster this one. Or at least he'll have a few GM norms. But hey, with, uh, with all the right support, especially with the new executive board that we believe will be supporting all our players. <laughs> Let me just hold it there because I'm sweating and my t-shirt is also, also wet. Wait, can you see this? You can't. All right. But anyways, good evening.